basically. I wasn't expecting to win. I had a couple of rides that week, none of them had got close and I thought I was just heading into go and ride an outsider that, you know, might run well. So when she passed the line in front it was, you know, very nice surprise. It's, it's a big field and I just remember um, you know, quite chilled out, relaxed early on, let her find her feet. Um, I followed Her Majesty the Queen's horse through, which was favourite, and so that was a, a nice horse to follow. And um, yeah, I, I, I don't think I celebrated massively when I passed the line in front because I was like, I can't, did that actually just happen? Charlie Fellows, who trained her, was actually quite confident before. He said everything is in, you know, everything is in the right boxes, all the ticks. It's, she's like track, trip you know, ground, everything everything was perfect. So just actually he wasn't that surprised. Um, yeah, well, that I was driving because I wasn't expecting to have a Royal Ascot winner. And usually when I've got a good ride at Ascot, I get a family member or something to, you know, someone to come along with me. And I hadn't bothered with anyone that day. So I drove back, um, I drove back on my own, but we went and met the owners who, are, who live in Newmarket. We met them down their local pub and they got everyone in, from the yard a drink. So that was good. Having a, a winner was a, was a real big deal at Royal Ascot because every year it's such a build up and everyone goes on about how few women have, have had a, a winner there and I've, I've been second and third there a few times but I've never had a winner and I knew that the girls were going in with a chance and obviously it would have been nice if any of the girls had had a winner but I was particularly pleased it was me, obviously. The amount of girls riding now compared to you know, 15 years ago when I started is, is an unreal how much it's changed and the standards of girl female jockeys has risen so much um, and they're only going to get better and I just think that it will become quite common. I suppose I do see myself as a, a bit of a role model. I think that the second youngest girl in the weighing room to me is Josephine Gordon who's 26 and I'm 37 so um, I have got a bit of... Um, time sort of experience on my hands and um, there, there are, there is a lot of young girls and they're doing so well and they're a great bunch but yeah I'd, I'd like to think that a little bit. It would be amazing to have another Royal Ascot winner obviously but I, I don't like to um, make a plan if I get there that week and I've got good rides I'll, I'll do my best but there's nothing I can do apart from that so um, yeah fingers crossed hopefully a few more girls will.